College Hoops, just a great one at the Palestra tonight. Hawks and Quakers, St. Joe's and Penn. A packed house. St. Joe's led by 16, 26, 10 on this Terrell Myers basket. Penn came right back, a 10-0 run. Jed Ryan with seven of the points, three of them right here. However, Penn was down nine at the half. Then a Matt Langle three, and Penn had their first lead, 51-50, eight and a half minutes left. Penn, two of 12 from threes in the first half. They had seven in the second half shortly thereafter. What a move, Michael Jordan, plus the foul pens up two. But Rashid Bay, a game high 18, had two big threes in crunch time, put St. Joe's up three. But Penn's Garrett Kreitz will bank a three to make it 61 all, 49 seconds left, off the window. And St. Joe's Nemanja Petrovic hit a free throw. Then Penn turned it over. Jordan's pass stolen by Arthur Davis. Davis went to the line, hit both free throws. Here's the second. Then stole a pass and jammed. 66-61, your final. St. Joe's wins it. And Hawks coach Phil Martelli knew it wouldn't be easy, even when he had that 16-point lead. I know better. <laughs> I've been through enough with these guys. Um, it's really fool's gold because we made a lot of shots early and then our offense just stopped. We played, we, we played really poorly offensively. That's disappointing with older guys. You know, we're taking some quick shots. We're taking some shots off bounds. Uh, but then what we've, what we've done all year is we've guarded. We play very good defense, and that's what won the game. Villanova. Last Saturday, the Wildcats lost the DuPont Pavilion to Miami. It ended a 23-game home winning streak. Today, they played perhaps their best game of the season. On Monday night, it will be Nova and Syracuse at the Core State Center. But today, Nova led Rutgers 7-0. Rutgers came back, and uh, we pick up the game tied at 11. Jason Lawson will convert to put Nova up and up to stay. Lawson had 11 points. Then watch Nova swing it against the Rutgers zone. Tim Thomas with his second three of the first half. He had 13. And then later, more good shooting. Back-to-back -back three is Brian Lynch. John Celestan for a 10-point lead. 15 for Celestan. Later, an 8-0 run to end the first half. Lawson follows the Alvin Williams miss. Williams had 17 for Nova. Nova's uh, up 22 at the half today, and they win at 79-56. LaSalle and Duquesne at the Spectrum. Off the steal, it is Donnie Carr, and a uh, little fancy dribble between the legs, pull-up jumper, 19 for Donnie. A career-high 26 for Sean Red Smith, count it, plus the foul, but LaSalle was down one at the half. Red Smith shot 11 for 13 again, count it, plus the foul. Mike Gizzy, 21 points, right down the lane. But this game tied at 77. And LaSalle isolates for Carr. And Donnie will hit the tough leaner. 4.9 seconds left. LaSalle up two. What a shot. After a Duquesne timeout, Tom Pipkins, who had 24 points, trying to send it to overtime. Great defense by Carr. LaSalle wins it 79-77. Drexel and Hofstra. Mike Dorakis to Jeff Myers. 18 points for Myers. Drexel down two at the half. Here's Myers plus the foul. Drexel did take a three-point lead in crunch time. Final seconds. Tim Beckett will try to tie it for Hofstra. Not there. Drexel beats Hofstra 64 to 61. You also have Delaware beating Maine 65-62.